The sun sets behind Cerro Paranal in the Chilean Atacama Desert. While astronomers get ready to observe with ESO's very large telescope, nature prepares for her own grand display. As night falls over the desert, the southern sky reveals its nocturnal beauty, leaving the spectator in silent amazement. Some people, however, don't just stare at this spectacle. With great skill, they record these unique moments for everyone to see. They are the photographers of the night. Anyone who has been up at night in a remote, high place such as one of ESO's observatories in Chile may have been lucky enough to experience the splendid view of the myriad of stars shining brightly from the heavens. It is both a dream and a challenge for a photographer to capture an image of this incredible view. Yuri Beletsky is an ESO fellow and astronomer at the Paranal Observatory. When not observing with the world's most advanced telescope, the VLT, he actively lives out his passion for taking pictures of the southern sky. Over time, Yuri has produced many spectacular images of Paranel against the wonderful backdrop of the night sky. A laser beam shooting out of one of the VLT's unit telescopes. the bright constellation of the Southern Cross. The Pipe Nebula, with its picturesque dust lane crossing the Milky Way. Sunlight, reflected by small particles of dust lying in between the planets, causes the faint zodiacal light. Paranal is an ideal site for astrophotographers, as it offers crystal clear, extremely dark skies with perfect weather conditions on about 320 nights per year. Gerhard Hüdepol, an electronic engineer at Paranal, knows about the photographic benefits of the VLT's site. My favorite type of photography is landscape and in particular landscape uh, at night, showing the, the Milky Way, the night sky here of the Atacama Desert. And here in Paranal, then I have the possibility to have the telescopes as a nice foreground and the, the stars and the night sky as a background. The bright plane of our Milky Way as it arches above the VLT an image like this can only be obtained under top-notch stargazing conditions, such as those offered at Paranal. Astrophotography is very demanding. The photographer has to stay out in the dark and in the chill of the night for many hours. Sometimes it can take several nights of painstaking work in these tough conditions to obtain just one image and the equipment must always function flawlessly. Stefan Gizar is the head of the optical group at Paranal. His astrophotography benefits from his professional expertise as an optical engineer specializing in telescopes. I take uh, pictures of uh, galaxy and nebula with a telescope, but uh, I also like to take uh, wide field images 
of the sky with a terrestrial foreground. I like to share with people the, the beauty of the, of the sky and, and the universe. This photographic mosaic of the central parts of our galactic home is just one example of Stefan's work. Taken with an amateur telescope coupled to a CCD camera, the image combines about 1,200 photos for a total exposure time of around 250 hours. Stefan has also produced a spectacular series of time-lapse sequences at the Paranal site. Producing such sequences is quite a challenge, as the images must be taken at regular intervals and all the parameters must match perfectly to obtain the sensation of the moving firmament. There's no doubt that Yuri, Gerhard and Stefan will continue to produce stunning images of the starry skies above Paranal. The wonderful quality of the images is a testament to the splendor of the night sky at ESO's Paranal Observatory. By sharing their work, these three astrophotographers have brought their magnificent view of the southern sky to a wider audience. This is Dr. J signing off for the ESOcast. Join me again next time for another cosmic adventure. Thank you.